Hello guys, welcome back to our channel Piping Mantra. In today's video, we are going to discuss the importance of design and provisions of vents and drains during retail engineering phase so that the piping system meets the process and construction or testing requirements. It has been observed that missing out vents and drains during engineering results in rework during construction, thus affecting the project schedule of testing and commissioning. Let's see how many types of vents and drains we encounter in our design. First is hydrostatic test vents and drains and the second one is process vents and drains. So let's see the definitions of each. First is hydrostatic test vents and drains. Hydrostatic test vent connections are located at high points and drain connections are located at low points of the piping system based upon the physical piping configuration. These connections are used only during hydrostatic leak testing of the piping system. Hydrostatic test vents and drain connections are shown on the detailed construction piping drawings. Generally, hydrostatic vents and drains are not shown in the PNID. Hydrostatic drains are provided with walls and hydrostatic vents are normally without walls. However, if walls are provided, they shall be shown in the PNIDs. Hydrostatic vents and drains which are to be marked on PNIDs should be tagged as HV and HD respectively to differentiate from the process vents and drains if required to be shown. Access shall not be provided. Next is process vents and drains. Process vents and drain connections are provided in piping systems for use during operation and or maintenance. These vents and drain connections are shown on the PNIDs and related detailed piping drawings. They are always provided with walls and are located such that they are easily accessible by operations or maintenance personnel. Such vents and drains may be provided with suitable closure devices that is plug, cap or blind or may be connected to the vent or drain systems. Now let's talk about the consideration while providing hydrostatic vents and drains on piping systems. As we all know, hydrostatic vents shall be provided at all the highest points of the piping system. The hydrostatic drains shall be provided at the lowest points of the piping system. Hydrostatic vents shall be provided for line sizes 1 and a half inch and above, since line sizes of 1 inch and below are considered to be self venting. Hydrostatic drains shall be provided for all line sizes, including small bore piping. Drains shall always be taken from the bottommost point of the pipe to ensure that the pipe is fully drained after hydro testing, never from the side. Similarly, vents shall always be taken from the topmost point of the pipe and never from the side. The hydrostatic vent and drain sizes and arrangements shall be as indicated in the piping standard drawing or stated in the project specifications. Hydrostatic vents and drains shall be provided for the piping system subjected to hydro test. If the piping system is subjected only to pneumatic test, for example instrument air, nitrogen system, etc., then hydro test vents and drains need not to be provided. Hydro test drain shall not be provided if a line already has a process drain at the lowest point of the piping system. The process drain itself acts as hydro test drain in such cases. Hydro test vent shall not be provided if a line already has an instrument connection, for example pressure temperature instrument, at high points of the piping system. This connection itself shall act as the hydro test vent. Adequate gussets or bracings shall be provided to support the vents and drains in case of line subjected to vibrations. Vents shall be avoided in control valve assemblies at elevated locations by using flat side up reducers. The same is applicable for outlet of relief valve lines with the flat side up reducers shall not provide high point vent as during testing the hydro tester shall provide a temporary spool with the vent connection in lieu of the control valve. Depending on process requirements, hydro test drains may have to be connected to the drain system. If there are service specific drain systems with hot oil, hot water, etc., care shall be taken to connect the drains to appropriate drain system. Hydrostatic vents not provided with walls but with threaded plugs or caps shall be seal welded after testing. 
separate vents and drains shall be provided on the line in a system if piping specifications or pressure rating change if we have pressure break or class break here we have to provide separate vent and drain for hydro test since the hydro test packs will be different for different test pressures before moving further please subscribe to our channel if you haven't already and now you can support us by simply shopping on a on your favorite website you just have to go through the links we provided in the description box if you are from india you can shop on these websites and if you are from usa uk uae germany and spain you can shop from amazon.com of respective country let's get back to the video these are some cases where we need a hydrostatic vents in case of vertical pocket or vertical pocket with manual valves remember we discussed if we have control valves we do not need hydrostatic vents similarly these are some cases where we need hydrostatic drain on your screens you can see images in such cases where the volume of water in the test loop is high the drain may be provided so that the hydro test water can be taken to disposal or reuse through this connection for example flare header where high volume of hydro test water is required for hydro testing now comes the process vents and drains process vents and drains wherever required are indicated on the pnids and are always provided with valves process vents and drains may either be blinded or piped to closed vent drain systems as required by the process philosophy and as indicated in the pnids in hot oil systems drains shall be provided at all low points to permit easy and complete drain off of the system the drains should be connected to the hot oil drain system size of the drain connections installed on long lengths of piping or drains installed on piping but meant for draining of equipment needs to be reviewed with process for the emptying time on the pump discharge piping a drain connection shall be provided between the check valve and block valve to permit draining of the line downstream of the check valve this drain connection shall be indicated in the pnid so that is it for today guys thank you for watching this video we love reading your comment and suggestions so please comment below we do read every single one of your comment if you like this video please hit the like button and share with your friends and colleagues who may find it useful if you have any time please check out our other videos over there so till next time take care bye bye